welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Today we are going over my own official Dragon Age canon. So as you know, we are only two days away from Veilguard and I am nowhere near close to finishing Dragon Age Origins. I will try my hardest to finish Origins, move on to Dragon Age 2, Inquisition, all of that. But to play Veilguard, I kind of wanted to catch you up on what I have done in the past and what I consider my own canon choices within the game. So today we are using the handy dandy Dragon Age key. Now you might notice there is my own canon already here that is separate from my YouTube canon because I went with a different class and I've done different choices already. Okay, so my hero of Ferelden is actually a Kuzlin. She is Elissa. I believe you pronounce Kuzland. I think I passed it. Did I pass it? No, I did not. And she is a warrior. Yeah, I chose that, regretting that decision. She did not, in my own personal canon, die. She is alive and well. Um, then moving on to companions, she romanced, obviously, Alistair. We did recruit the dog. Loghain was not executed by me in my own personal canon. Loghain was executed by Alistair. Or no, Loghain was killed by Alistair in the duel. At least I believe that's what happened. No idea. Um, it's been a while since they actually played all the way through the game. So the revered mother... Oh, yeah. The revered mother in charge of Lothring's Chantry was persuaded to release the Qunari warrior into the one's custody. No, we picked the lock, because that is faster. We did recruit Sten, and we recruited this guy here. I don't know anything about Sten's sword, but I am going to try to return it to him. So, my own personal thing. We did recruit Severin. We did. Um, that we did in our latest episode, I believe. Ooh, I accidentally exited on companions. That's not what I meant to do. Severin is alive and well. Um, we did recruit Wynn. Alistair did not die with the Archdemon. Alistair became king. Yeah, make the change. It's gonna... I'm gonna fix that. No, we were lovers, but I've gotta fix that alive and well, alive and well. Morgan. Not with the Warden. With Alistair. Yes, make the change. Okay. <laughs> That's better. Now. Um, no. Warden is Alistair's queen. Yes, yes. Uh, I did actually acquire the Grimoire in my original playthrough, Killing Plummet. However, I don't think I'm gonna do that again just because it was so hard to do. Like, I literally actually got a mod, but yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. Um, brokered Peace. We did bro Broker Peace, actually. That's what I hope to do. Um, oop, it slipped out. I always tell about wife's fates because that'd be awful to not know. Um, we did encounter them and we helped them be together. Did not, we did actually, I did in my original playthrough. I did also help Alora. We saved the Hala. Um, who's this guy? Oh yeah, we did. I did return this guy in my original playthrough. This is also just a refresher of everything that has happened for me. Paragon of her kind. This is just me fastly going through everything. If you want a more in-depth version, I'm going to do that for Inquisition. But Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Origins, I'm going to click through really fast. I have my canons for Dragon Age Origins, or Inquisition I mean, in my phone. And I'll read it off because you can't select them in the keep, which is incredibly stupid. We did defeat Bronca. We did talk to Dagna. And we actually had Dagna leave to study um, in my little playthrough. Balin does rule Orzammar. We did not do that because we are not a dwarf. We did speak to this guy. Um, in my original playthrough... I told the truth about Ruck. I didn't know all of the other ones were an option, to be fair. So, we actually did prove this in my original playthrough, because I went and did everything. 
The stolen tome. Oh yeah, we returned it. I returned it. So, didn't help create a chantry. I did, but going through for YouTube, I'm gonna not do that. Simply because this leads to kind of awful things happening in Orzammar. Um, Zerelda remained in Dust Town. This is what I did in my original playthrough. I do not know how I did that. I tried another playthrough and I couldn't do it. So, anyways, actually did do the lyrium deal which was weird uh didn't help or to join no we we did i did um okay out of paragon of her kind to broken circle which we have already done mages were supported first enchanter irving survived and we did not agree to come on's request those are all correct now back to denerum sir landry alive yes actually i did in my original playthrough. Um, don't know how I did half of this stuff. I literally was looking at guides most of the time with my original playthrough that I did by myself. I did do this. Um, this I actually did. Wait. Were we involved in crime or stopping crime? No, I didn't do this one. Yeah, because I didn't do any crime. I helped. This is what I thought it was. Yeah, I did do that didn't handle the crimson ores who the heck are the i'm gonna say i d oh yeah innkeeper okay i did do this in my original playthrough as well um i did return the amulets as well um didn't complete the assassinations i actually did in my original playthrough but i am not going to i'm gonna hopefully do that i'm trying to be a good warden this time around we did encounter goldana you guys have seen this uh we helped alistair find goldana and i will help we will send marjorie away marjolaine marjorie marjolaine wow anyways okay so that was denerum the lands meet yes this is what happened okay prologue Ooh, yeah. Wait, prisoner left Ostagar alone. I I didn't realize there was a prisoner. So I'm 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 gonna say yeah. Um, we did we did cure the Marbari Hound. Urn of Sacred Ashes, ashes, which is what we're about to do. I'm not going to poison them. Arl of Redcliffe. You guys have seen this. We did help. Um, we did not find the small child, and then he died, and I felt really bad. We helped Redcliffe prepare. We did rescue this guy's daughter. She is alive and well. Connor did not die. Connor is alive, not possessed. Isolde is alive. Bella, who is Bella? Bella, oh, no, she took tavern ownership. That's what she did. You guys saw that. I was very proud of myself for that one. Okay, the Battle of Denerum. Uh, Warden killed Archdemon, yeah. That's what happened. Um, awakening expansion. I'm not going to do the awakening awakening expansion. I just don't see a point. So warden is gonna kill. The keep's gonna be protected. Sure. This one I'm actually gonna fix because why wouldn't I? But yeah, I started it and it on my own and it just couldn't keep my interest when I did it on my own. So I know for a fact I'm not gonna be able to complete it for YouTube. Uh, Warden's Keep DLC, you know, I kind of like this. I kind of like that. Stone Prisoner DLC, yes, yes, I love all of this, yes. Okay, moving on to Dragon Age 2. My hero is actually going to be Marion Hawk. But can I choose this hero? Yep, she's gonna be mage. Um, diplomatic, humorous, or aggressive. I typically go for a diplomatic hero, which is kind of sad, um, but it is what it is. Companions, no unromanced. Actually, I plan on romancing dear old Fenris for many reasons. Bethany did die. Carver um, actually is going to become a Grey Warden, fun fact. Uh, Bartrand killed. Um, actually, Bartrand not killed is what I did. 
Um, Bethany did not live to see my, yeah. Help Varric discover the cause of haunting. Yep, Varric actually did keep the Larry of Idol in my playthrough, which I think is a bad idea, but whatever. Um, I'm going to try to make her return to me. I'm gonna work that out, even if I have to cheat the friendship, just saying. Um, Fenris is alive and well. We did not do that, no. Meryl stayed with Hawk, Meryl alive and well. Didn't approve, yeah, obviously. Anders, we're not gonna execute because I think it's pointless, really. Uh, Meryl did not, no, she did not destroy the Alluvian. Actually, Aveline did marry Donic. Um, Aveline did stay with Hawk. Meryl's clan was not killed. Didn't recruit Sebastian. No, I didn't. Um, but we are going to because Corypheus. I'm gonna figure out how to get that DLC done because I sa it says I have it, but I could not access it for the life of me. Um, sure, sure, yeah, we'll leave that because I don't know who the heck that is. Um, prologue. Was that what we were just in? Yeah, we joined the smugglers. Or I'm going to join the smugglers. Um, act one. I like how this is set up better. We fought against the Templars. Uh, I did return cargo. Again, these are all my canon choices. You have seen none of this. Hopefully you will, though. Kelder killed. Yeah, I did kill Kelder. Um, no, I did return this guy. I did return him. Giddis died. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I don't know who this dude is. Oh, that guy. Yeah, I did kill him. I did. Didn't look for the wife. I did, actually. Uh, told the truth of the wife's death. Didn't solve mystery of missing minors. I did! I did! And I defeated a dragon, and I was very happy with it. Um, blackmailed Sir Thrask. Did we do that? Didn't blackmail? Who's Sir Thrask? I'm guessing we blackmailed him. Because why wouldn't I? I don't know who this lady... Oh, I did not kill her, actually. Fun fact. Um, I did send Fenriel to the Dalish. I did do that. Defeated... Who? Defended from the Canari. No, actually, I handed him over because it was better that way. Actually, now that I think about it. Karis killed. No, Karis is alive and well. Okay, that's it for Act 1 there. Um, Act 2. Killed Gascard, yes. Didn't side with Varnell against... Templar's plan. I I accidentally did, but I'm not going to. Didn't side with Patrice. No, why would I? Uh, didn't discover looter. Of, I did. I did discover. Yep. Um, I did encounter this guy. And I saved Marin because I always try to. Jar Jarvis did die. Is, is gonna keep doing that now. The keep is so finicky. Uh, we did encounter, and we fought alongside the guardsmen. Um, yep, I did free him. Uh, and I did kill the era shock, because I don't see a way around it. Um, act three. Um, I did help find the assassin. I did find Zevran, and I let Zevran go. Uh, please stop doing that. I did hand the conspirators over to Orsino. Who the frick is Nathaniel? Um, I feel like I'm... He died. He must have died. Oops. Oops. No, 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 no. Because I think he dies if you... Yeah, okay. Sure. I don't know, but sure. I did do this. I did side with the mages. I did do this, but I did kill the dragon at the bone pit. I did. I, I really think, hold on, let me test it. Two rescued, yeah, no. Close, see? Yeah, it's gotta be this one. Okay, now going to the legacy DLC. I don't know who either of these people are, so I'm gonna say that the options there are correct. So that, is my canon for Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2. But I am gonna go a rogue. I've decided instead of a mage, just to kind of mix it up because I wanna do a mage for Veilguard. 
so that's gonna be exciting i'm actually going to go over inquisition from my notes so i'm gonna look that up real quick okay so lana lavellan dalish dalish elf rogue she's gonna be um i'm debating between blonde and red hair i am um, i'll decide with what i do for veil guard and whatever i do for veil guard i will do the opposite for inquisition so i sided with the mages i killed it says killed random warden so i don't know what that even means <laughs> um ally with the gray wardens i did oh the, the okay yeah here lies the abyss so since logan is dead alistair is king there's just some random warden who i forget his name yeah i killed him i let him sacrifice himself yeah, I allied with the Wardens after that. Celine and Briella rule together, and Florian is dead. I drank from the well, chose to save Solas, and disband the Inquisition. So I looked up basically all the choices that seemed to matter the most, and those were the ones that popped up. So that one was more short because, see, this is hidden, 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 hidden. You can't really select, select things in the keep for Inquisition. So I hope you guys enjoyed my quick little rundown of my own personal Dragon Age canon. And I hope you watch this video before Bail Guard comes out so you know all my little choices. And I cannot wait for you to see those choices because I will hopefully simultaneously be, be playing Dragon Age Origins 2 and Inquisition all throughout while I play Bail Guard as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Dragon Age content and turn on that notification bell so you never miss another one of my videos. Bye! I'll see you in the next one.